With Google Glass, with uh, $20,000 in prototyping material and three people, in three months we built 150 hardware prototypes. My name is Tom Chi. Rapid prototyping is the process of finding the fastest path to a direct experience of the thing that you're trying to create. Coat hanger connected to a piece of plexiglass. Right here at this juncture, there is a Pico projector. For me, rapid prototyping is not really like a tool, like a 3D printer or laser cutter or anything. It's actually more of a mindset for how one approaches learning that one learns by actually creating and experiencing as opposed to researching and analyzing and debating. The way that I describe it is doing is the best type of thinking. So most people think about outcome-based goals. It's like, I want to make a company that does this. I want to make a device that does this. Here's the outcome. A rate-based goal is, is really useful if you don't know what you're going to make or you do know what you're going to make, but you don't know how you're going to get there. And what is a rate-based goal? It, it means expressing what you're going to do as a rate of doing as opposed to a specific outcome. Education in the context of direct application you know, is, a, is a very sort of powerful construct. So a key learning is a learning from a direct experience that has materially changed how you do business. And what you can measure as a CEO or as an executive of a startup is how many key learnings did we get per week. What creativity is, as far as I can tell, is just the number and cross associations of light spots in your brain. And what I'm encouraging you guys to do is to actively use your brains in these ways. Like in the times that you guys are part of this program, a lot of things are not going to work the way that you'd expect them to work. But you're just going to ask yourself, what is the 5% that worked? And find a way to light up a little spot in your brain so it becomes part of your working palette for the things that you will eventually solve. As fast as startups are, most of the time in a startup is spent waiting around. It's like, well, we can't really do this until this happens. Oh, you know, once we get this funding, we'll start looking at this. Or, and, and none of that's true, actually. Like in, the, in my work in the developing world, like you'll meet people that got a $10 loan from their uncle and now made a business that employs 400 people. And they didn't do that by coming up with fancy business strategies and templates and working out models. They just got out there started interacting with people and figuring out how to serve them. And that to me is the message at the end of the day. There is a way to get out there and serve people which is direct and immediate and will teach you more. You just ask yourself what behaviors need to happen in the world and you work backwards and say what's the minimal prototyping scaffold that enables that behavior in the world so I can actually just directly experience it and observe other people directly experiencing it. If you begin solving your problems 10 to 100 times faster than the main worry in your mind, whether you can solve your problems or not, starts to shift because you're pretty sure you can solve them. Like the bigger question that comes up is what problems are worth solving in the world?